When the decision was made, Don and I just thought, oh my God, his life has ended. Big, big change for him. He felt like lost, just lost and didn't know what to do with himself. It's Sherry Kroll, the executive director at Middlesex Community Living. Middlesex Community Living opened the Mercantile Restaurant about 20 years ago with the intent of operating it as a training environment for people with intellectual disabilities. I'm Brad. I'm Lisa. I'm a manager at Middlesex Community Living and I support Brad. We met back at the Mercantile where Bradley started. I'm the Ministry of Community and Social Services, who is our funder, made an announcement back in December of 2015 that they were going to move away from sheltered environments towards community employment and community participation. Through um, long discussion and a lot of debate, uh, it was determined that it was the best, in the best interest of the people that we provide supports to, to close the restaurant and to support them in community endeavours. So when it was announced that the Mercantile was going to be closed, Bradley took it very hard. So he kind of went from being on top of the world, basically, to my, you've just taken everything from me and I don't know how I'm going to manage. He would not sleep at night. Oh, he'd be up in the middle of the night pacing. Mom and Dad, you know, I kept them up all, every mostly every night because of my anger and my frustration and and but Don and I are both working and we love our sleep but we did not get much sleep yeah. it was traumatic yes it was difficult and we knew that we were placing a number of clients in a really difficult position having to transition between what was comfortable what they knew and what was brand new It was a hard road to take, but at the end of the day, um, it was the right decision. We needed to move away from the sheltered workshop and get people out into their community. When the Mercantile closed, I started a job right in this class. The job right in this class was basically just for people to discover and learn about their strengths and what they wanted to do. I learned a lot from that pro from the job right in this class. I think I learned how to be a better person. Four jobs right now. Uh, Mondays are Dennings, which is a funeral home in town. My name is Bill Denning. I am a funeral director here at Dennings. Well, we've always been uh, great supporters of community living and all of the wonderful initiatives that they, they do. Uh, our relationship is just that much stronger now having Brad as a part of our team. So it's been a very much a win-win-win for I think everybody who's involved in this. Tuesdays are the YMCA, so I do all the cleaning stuff like I sweep the floors, clean downstairs. Wednesdays I do the lawyer's office, which is Rob Stack's lawyer's office. I'm Robert Dack, I'm a lawyer in Strathroy. I've been practicing law here for like 31 years and uh, I'm the employer. Just, just, he's just a joy to be around. He's so happy to have the job. So happy to be here. Um, entertaining, funny. Um, it's just a joy to have him. I do the Focus, which is the London Free Press Focus, which you all get at, at your doors. I like to bike a lot. I just mostly bike around the neighborhood. I would really encourage organizations um, to rethink the way that they're providing services. Some of the old traditional model, models and service just don't work any longer and we really need to be more innovative and creative um, to sustain the service and to really meet people's needs and goals. I would suggest that anybody who's considering a relationship similar to this to give it a try. What you're going to find is that the individual that you bring on to your team really truly becomes a part of that team and everybody is better off for having that relationship. And then when you started to get through it, did you actually help other people? Yes, I did. Because some of them took a little bit longer to get to the point you were at. Yeah. And they started to struggle and they started to feel that. So then I had to go help, then I had to go help them get better. Well, today, I don't think he misses the mercantile at all. Um, he's so busy with everything he does and he loves a variety of jobs that he is doing. Without question, I look at the stories that we have from clients and the stories that we hear from all of the staff. It's totally 
been a great choice because we are now integrating clients more into the community. I would completely recommend the experience. It's been nothing but positive and, and happy. It's just been a joyful experience for all of us. 